Hey everybody, how are we doing today? So, you know, part of some of the things I do is all for recycling. And today, I have dozens and dozens and dozens of reel-to-reel uh, -reel tapes. You know, it's not really the, uh, the coolest thing in the world, but nevertheless, I thought you guys might be interested. So basically, uh, I checked around. These are like old tidbits. There's like, um, you know, different sound, sound effects in here and, uh, like bits and pieces of commercials. I did save one. This guy right here. It's a, uh, it's a demo reel. Mount Carmel Health is one of the hospitals here in town. But Cincinnati Bell, Columbia Gas, go on down there. Jags, you know, the race car superstore. Drug Emporium, we got White Castle there at the bottom. Uh, 32nd spot on the double cheeseburger. And I've got stuff in here from uh, Wendy's Hamburgers. And, uh, you know, I just, so this is some of the stuff we have to do. I promised the uh, customer that I would recycle these items. And, you know, this is a uh, training video. Wendy's International New Chili Procedures. And that's about 15 years ago. Uh, actually, probably about 20 years, 30 years ago now. This is just the cardboard here. And then, uh, of course, there's the old uh, three and a half inch floppies. I'll go through this to see if there's any actual uh, software in it. Okay, here's some more Wendy's International. I got 30 second spot for kids mill. I'm just taking off, dumping in there because unfortunately this uh, tape can only be recycled into new tape. And since they don't make this anymore, it can't be recycled, which is a shame. Um, I guess somebody was saying that you might be able to recycle these plastic pieces, but they uh, are bins around here. The guys don't like taking the, uh, or they don't like us bringing in the hard plastic unless it's actually marked. Of course, all of this stuff was made back in a time before the, uh, the current um, recycling marks. So it's probably recyclable, but there's nowhere I can take it. You know, they, they'll consider it dumping if I drop it into the bin. Uh, but, you know, it's a piece of history I thought you guys might find interesting. Okay, these are all cassette tape. Okay. Your screen demos. You know, it's just so much stuff, and I've got no use for it. I did look around to see if there was any interest for it, and I guess there's not. Certain groups out there, but they want blank, um, blank or full productions. You know, and like this, this, uh, Rhythm, Rhythm Tracks Rough Mix by Frank Pierce. And he was the producer around here, produced uh, stuff for bands. And, uh, you know, well, like I've already shown you the commercials and stuff. And then I'll pull these guys out, check them out, and see if there's any original software. Which there may be. Or it may be the exact same thing. 
old files, drum file. But anyway, I thought you guys might find it a little bit interesting. So uh, that's it. Get back to uh, playing with your scrap. As soon as I get all that sorted, I'm going to tear apart the uh, uh, Sanyo proje projector over there. Maybe there's cameras. Unfortunately, they no longer work. Oh! I can't remember if I showed you guys this or not. I meant to. EEPROM eraser. And you guys wouldn't believe it, but the only, you know what makes an EEPROM eraser? Um, ah, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed, guys. Real technical, huh? That's a uh, black light in there, guys. Or uh, this regular bulb. That's your EEPROM eraser. I'd uh, keep it to change out the bulb or whatever. But as you can see, it's soldered to it. But uh, I guess you can pick these up for like 10 or 15 bucks on eBay all day long. So you guys have a good one. Mike's out of here. Have a great weekend.